Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day. I am now on my survival mode home planet for another change of scenery, bringing you a Waking Titan 1.5 report. We just had another live drop, the third live drop this weekend. It's pretty crazy that we're having so many live drops. It definitely seems like the wear section of the ARG is coming to a close, probably, if we're everything's ramping up so quickly. So this live drop was really cool because L Plays Gaming and Robot Boy, two No Man's Sky YouTubers that I have interviewed. I interviewed L Plays Gaming uh, back before the Atlas Rises update. Um, he had less than 2,000 subscribers back then. Now he has uh, 5,800 some subscribers. Um, sadly, that interview didn't get very many views. It's only got like 200 some views, but you can still watch it. It's on my No Man's Sky YouTuber playlist. And then Robot Boy, I interviewed more recently when I was on this planet. So it was after the Atlas Rises update. So both of those guys were at the live drop and you can watch uh, the live drop um, because L Plays Gaming streamed it. Uh, the, the video is, um, it's, it's in my uh, playlist now of the live stream. My, no Man, my NMS Waking Titan 1.5 playlist, which is on my, um, it's on the front page of my YouTube channel. So you can watch that. And I'll also put a link on a pinned comment um, on this video that you can go straight to that video and it will have the timestamp on it so that it will go right to when the live drop happens. So let me get to what happened in this live drop because we have another live drop coming up in just two hours. So, and that one will be the absolute final one, I'm pretty sure. But, okay, so L Plays Gaming, Robot Boy, and a bunch of other people, like one, two, three, four other people were at this live drop. And they're, they're a pretty cute group. Pretty cute group. L Plays made it really fun. Um, and so they saw this guy at a statue near Big Ben, and he showed them a picture, and the picture was... It was kind of a scrambled picture, but it was a picture of the Detroit Museum because it had a picture of the thinker and it also had a, an American flag in the picture, so you could tell it wasn't somewhere in London. Um, so it was actually a picture of the Detroit, Detroit Museum and it had a, a riddle on it that spoke of an incubus being on the person's chest and a, an eyeless horse guarding them. Now this referred to a painting in the Detroit Museum called The Nightmare. It's a pretty famous painting. It has a woman laying on her back like like she's passed out or sleeping and she has a demon on her chest called an incubus and there is a um, white-eyed horse in the background watching her or guarding her or something. Um, so it's basically about a woman having a nightmare. And so that that clue was the clue they had to that we had to email to Ware. So Ware wanted I guess you had to email the Detroit location or maybe the name of the painting, the nightmare. So that was the correct answer that you got from the live drop. Somebody emailed either the Detroit Museum or the name of the painting. Basically all of the answers are where Mr. Zhang supposedly is or where he's been in the past. Um, 
So probably it was the location of the Detroit Museum that people had to email. And so that made the WHERE website update again with more clues. And the new clues were postcards. Um, they were postcards. One of the postcards was of Egypt, I think. Another was of some other ancient ruins. I forget where. And then the third was in Peru. Um, uh, it's at, you know some kind of Aztec or Inca uh, pyramid ruins, but the the text on the postcards ha had letters that were circled, and those letters put together spelled out words: king, town, and monastery. Um, I'm not sure. Someone got the answer right. Some people were thinking it referred to a a town in Canada with the word king in it that has a monastery or maybe it was something else but somebody emailed the correct answer to where and so now the where website has updated yet again and this time it is telling us that there is another live drop at the London Museum now I think the reason this live drop has moved to the London Museum may actually be be because of L Plays Gaming. During his live drop, L Plays kept thinking they were going to have to go to the London Museum because he thought that's what the the museum in the picture was. Uh, because the London Museum has a thinker statue at it too, but it wasn't. It was a picture of the D Detroit Museum. But I think that the ARG people were actually watching L Plays Gaming's live stream, and since he kept saying he thinks the next drop was going to be at the London Museum, they actually decided to make the final drop be at the London Museum. Because supposedly Mr. Zhang left a briefcase at in London but the brief briefcase has not been opened yet. It's still locked. And so it, it's quite possible that this is going to be like the New York live drop from the first Waking Titan. In the first Waking Titan, there was a New York live drop. DM21 Gaming was there and live streamed it. And basically people were taken into a room, kind of like an escape room, ARG where there were clues on the wall and they had to figure out the the pass the or the code number in order to unlock a briefcase and find uh, a document inside the briefcase. So I think that's what's going to happen again. People are going to go to the London Museum, they will be taken to a secret room and they will have to open the briefcase and will finally get the important information that's hidden inside the briefcase. Um, but anyway, that's as of the recording of this video, that live drop is going to be in two hours, or a little less than two hours, because it says that it's going to be at 6 p.m. London time. And right now it is just after 4 o'clock London time, today, Sunday, April 29th. So I'm doing this video to get the word out that we just had a live drop and now we're having another. I tweeted L Plays Gaming and Robot Boy to let them know that there is another live drop uh, occurring at the London Museum. Um, Robot Boy tweeted back and said, oh no, um, we all just went home. So I don't know if Robot Boy will be able to make it to this live drop because he probably got on a train to go back home, I'm guessing. I don't know. But and it would probably cost a lot train fare for everyone to go back again. So I don't know if everybody is now too far to go to the London Museum or if L Plays or somebody else that was at the live drop will be able to go. Hopefully. I'm sure somebody will make it somebody is in London that will be able to get to the live drop. So that's the most important information is that we're going to have a live drop in less than two hours, another live drop, and this one will be the final one because we have now emptied all of the cryptocurrency wallets on the Wear website 
except for the last one. There's one more cryptocurrency wallet to empty. That has basically been our countdown, countdown thing, letting us know how close we are to getting finished with this. So whenever the live drop happens and people unlock that briefcase and find out what's in it, that should unlock the last cryptocurrency wallet and this event will will conclude and hopefully we will get some kind of information about no man's sky so far people have been a little frustrated saying what does this have to do with no man's sky we're not getting inf any information that's useful hopefully whatever is in that briefcase will be some kind of clue about either the Waking Titan storyline, since Ware doesn't seem to be connected to Loop 16 so far, or any of the other previous lore of Waking Titan, so hopefully that briefcase will reveal how Ware is connected to the whole Waking Titan universe, and maybe it will also give us info about No Man's Sky itself, maybe finally giving us a clue about features in the No Man's Sky next update. I'm not promising that it will, uh, it might not, but it's possible that hopefully after they've, they've put us through four live drops and all these other clues, we should be getting something, some kind of a reward for everything that's happened this weekend. So hopefully in less than two hours when people open that briefcase, we'll get something really cool. So before I end this video, I want to mention that my good friend James P. Vale, uh, a.k.a. King Vi the First, one of my Spacing Guild members, visited me at my secluded survival mode base. This base is like 20 hours away from the portal. That's why it can't be a center of excellence. Um, but he probably flew here somehow. Or maybe he went to the portal and traveled the several hours it would take to get here by Exocraft. I don't know. But thank you, King Vi, for coming to visit my survival mode base. And of course, Jacob 2000 LOL, my other friend, has also visited here. That's how I made this monument with him. But that was quite a while ago. So anyway, um... Yeah, L Plays Gaming and Robot Boy did a really cool live drop that l helped us progress in the Where ARG event that has something to do with Waking Titan. And we are about to have another live drop at the London Museum at 6 p.m. London time, April 29th, 2018. So that is it. I will probably do another report if there's something really, really exciting information that we get from the next and final live drop. So I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day and I'll catch you on the next day that I am Mac.